Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. In this video, we'll show you how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for the purchase event. Okay, so this would be the most updated video of 2025 and we're going to be showing you how you can do it for the new interface because recently Google Ads conversion tracking interface has changed and uh, we're going to be working on the a uh, new interface okay so without any further delay let's get started so you can see over here i am on the official documentation of google ads conversion then you can see over here use tag manager to deploy google ads conversion tags okay so before you begin you need to create an account and container in the google tag manager which we already did okay for this website and i have already uh connected Google Tag Manager with this website. So let me show you. So I'm gonna provide my website URL and hit connect. Then you can see over here, Tag Assistant connected. Okay, perfect. Then the next thing we need to do is to set up the Google tag, then uh, we need to set up conversion link card, then create a conversion action. And they have given us some instructions on how to set up Google Ads conversions. Okay, so if you want, you can read this documentation. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to be going to the Google Ads. Then I'm going to click on the goal section and uh, inside goals, we have conversions. Then I'm going to click on summary. Then if I scroll down, we have an option called create conversion action. Okay, so I'm gonna click on it. Then you can see over here, this is the new interface. So welcome to a simpler conversion measurement setup. Okay, so I'm gonna click on hide for now. Then you can see over here, what conversions do you want to measure? Okay, so we have different options, like you can set up conversion for your website, for your mobile app, then phone calls, or if you want, you can upload offline conversions or set up offline conversions, okay? So for the time being, we're gonna be going with the conversions on a website. So I'm gonna click on uh, edit and I'll provide the website URL and let me copy the website URL and paste it over here and click on scan okay then you can see over here your google tag is correctly installed on your website you can manage your tags later under tools and settings okay so i'm gonna click on done and i'll hit continue then you can see over here what do you want to measure so as i already told you i'm gonna be setting up google ads conversion tracking for the purchase event okay so i'll be selecting purchase uh, then I'm going to click on add an event to this category. Okay, so I'll be choosing this website. This is our website. Then uh, choose an event to measure purchase. So we have two options available here. You can either create a new event uh, by selecting uh, create a codeless system or codeless a event or if you want you can uh, choose create a manual event so if i choose create a codeless event then what will happen then you can uh, use pairs load or if you want you can use form submission but you can use page load then uh, if you want to uh, set up for the purchase event then what you can do url contains then slash thank you you can uh, use this option then uh, you can use this event, but for the time being, I'll be choosing create a manual event, okay? And I'll name this event as Google Ads Conversion Purchase, okay? Perfect, and I'm gonna click on Use Event, then I'll click on Save and Continue. Then finish setting up your conversion, so you can set it up using either a Google tag or if you want you can email instruction to your webmaster or developer 
but I'll be using Google Tag Manager. So they have given us conversion ID and this is conversion level. Okay. And we are going to be copying the conversion ID and conversion level. Okay. So let's go to over here. And the first tag I'll be creating is for conversion linker. Okay. So conversion linker. Okay. Tag configuration would be Google Ads, conversion linker. Then as the triggering, I'll trigger it as all pages. Okay. Perfect. Then I'm going to create a, a Google tag for a Google Ads conversion. Then purchase. Okay, so tag configuration would be Google Ads, Google Ads conversion tracking. Then I'm gonna provide the conversion ID and conversion level. So this is our conversion ID. I'm gonna copy it from here and paste it over here. And this is our conversion level. So I'm gonna copy it from here and paste it over here. Okay, then let's see set up a conversion linker which we already did check your google click id okay if your server redirect at clicks verify that the google click id gcl id your parameter is passed to your landing page okay so this is very important okay so i'll click on finish so we have created uh the google ads conversion purchase uh, conversion action okay so we need to pass conversion value transition id and currency code so i'll be setting them up later then as the triggering so for the time being i'm gonna go with the all pages because we need to create the trigger and variables as well okay perfect so let's go to the trigger first and let's make a purchase okay so for example i'll be selecting so it is showing tag assistant disconnected so i'm gonna click on finish and reopen it just wait a little bit it is loading Maybe I need to open it again. Okay, so let me preview it. And I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so it is connected now. So you can see over here, conversion linker. But uh, I have set up the trigger for all pages. That's why it is firing. But this shouldn't be the ideal case. Okay. So we'll be selecting one of the products. For example, this one. Okay. And we'll quickly make a purchase. So that we can create uh, the trigger and all the necessary data layer variables for the purchase event. Okay. So I'll click on add to cart. I'm going to click on checkout. Okay, so I'm going to provide the shipping address. So the country would be Bangladesh and I'm going to provide my address. Uh, state would be Dhaka and I'm going to purchase this item. And let's go to the tag assistant. You can see over here, there is a purchase event. Okay, so we'll go to the data layer. And first of all, we'll be creating the trigger. So the trigger event would be purchase. So I'm going to copy the purchase event and set up a trigger for the purchase event. Okay, so I can name it as purchase trigger and I'll be selecting it as custom event event name equal purchase so i'm gonna click on save then i need to create some data layer variables for 
the purchase event so i need to provide transaction id value and currency so we are going to be going to the user defined variable then i can write it dlb purchase value then i'll click on data layer variable and we're going to be collecting it from the data layer section so e-commerce dot value okay so i'm going to write e-commerce dot value okay save it then i can quickly duplicate this data layer variable uh, dlv purchase ab currency okay e-commerce dot currency this should be e-commerce dot currency so e-commerce is already there so i need to replace value with the currency okay then the next data layer variable i'll be copying is for dlb transaction id purchase transaction id maybe tier section id and i need to replace it uh with the transaction id so instead of providing currency i'm going to provide transaction id okay perfect so let's go to the google ads tags and modify the tag and i'm going to provide the conversion value as dlb purchase value our uh, transaction id as dlb uh purchase transaction id and currency code would be dlb purchase currency and instead of using all pages trigger i'm going to be using purchase trigger okay perfect so let's see whether it works or not so i'm gonna click on preview section for a little bit let's preview it from a stress okay So I'm going to hit connect. So we disconnected. Now I'll quickly purchase this product. Okay. I'll add this product to the cart. I'm going to go to the checkout page. I'll provide the necessary information and click on purchase with $19. Okay. So you can see over here, Google Ads conversion purchase event. Just click on purchase and click on show more. Okay, so you can see over here conversion value 19, conversion ID, currency code USD, then transaction ID is this one. So if I go to this page, continue. So you can see the order history, one item, $19. Okay, that means it is working properly. So let's Go to over here and let's quickly refresh the screen and see whether the status is okay or not. Okay. So you can see over here Google Ads conversion purchase. It is currently showing no recent conversions, you know. So as long as we have conversions from Google Ads, 
uh, it will be showing the status as active okay so it is working properly so this is how you can set up google ads conversion tracking for the purchase event for the new interface okay so yeah that's it for this video hopefully you have liked our video if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page you have a good day and additionally if you need to set up google ads conversion tracking facebook pixel tracking facebook conversion api uh server side tagging ga4 reporting and uh conversion tracking then you can send us a message we have provided our WhatsApp number. You can directly call us or send uh, the problem you're facing. Or if you want, you can mail us as well. Okay. So hopefully we'll have a great collaboration together. So yeah, that's it. You have a good day. Bye-bye.